Today I'm going to show you how to use F3X Editor. This is a tool that is probably one of the most popular tools on Roblox. I'll have a link in the description to it. So let's get started with this. So there's a lot of things that you can do that speed up building. Essentially it takes all of the stuff from the home page and it makes it much easier to actually edit them in a much more efficient and faster way. So if you're building or using a lot of stuff. So I could use this, for example. This is just the moving tool. Uh, and I don't have to have, say, for the regular moving tool, I could grab it like this. I could grab it like this. But with this, it's a lot easier with this tool because at least with this, I can take it wherever I want. Also, when you're scaling out, you can also control the increments that it has so you don't have to go to the stud count you could just type it right here say if i wanted to move it point one studs it'll get to that level of accuracy uh, i can also just type in back one and i'll always have one studs it tells you the sides xyz axis so resize 29 studs of that resized so it it tells you a lot of things uh, I can change it so I can have both directions scaled, so that's pretty cool. I could also have paints like this. There's already kind of a palette inside of this, so I could select whatever color I want, and it could, as long as it's selected, I can change it to whatever color is in here, versus having to go and open a tab here. I could change the surface. So this is actually a feature that was removed from the original Roblox. You can't use these anymore, but these were essentially the original textures to uh, Roblox. You can also put configurations on it as well. You could have motors, glue, hinges, that kind of stuff. I could also uh, insert a light in here, so if I wanted to put this in there. Uh, I have a point light. I could change its range to say like 20 or whatever. I could change its brightness to 5. So, and I can change the color of this. I can make it red, whatever color. Okay, so make sure it's selected because if, say if you go and unselect it, uh, it's, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to do that. So make sure your part is always selected. So now since it's selected, I could add smoke into it, I could add fire, uh, I could add sparkles, I could add all sorts of stuff. Um, pretty cool, right? But the best part, what I like about this tool, is unlike with original Roblox, right, I could only scale one part at a time. So I could only have one of these being manually used at a time to, to change their uh, volume size. But with this tool, if I select all four of these, if I go into the different size tool, I could actually change all of their size equally. And I could also have it so it only goes one direction. Uh, but it's, it's very useful when it comes to that. I could also change the color of all of these. I could also have all of these have studs on them because they're all being affected by the same size configuration. I could also add an image, or I could add a decal on it. So, for example, if, say, I had in the toolbox, uh, whatever, right? I just copy the texture ID of this, and I can now paste in the ID. I could add the decal. And now we have a decal on every single one of these. And if I scale this up, oh, not like that. But if I scale it up like this, you can see that all of the images have kind of configured. I could overlap them like that. Another thing I could do is say I have several parts selected or whatever, but uh, I could also move it and then I could just select it like this and I could still move it. Uh, I could still scale it like this. I could also turn them into meshes. Uh, I could change their size. 
by the way, uh, a sphere and a head are some of the mesh types. So the wedges are just, so all of these other types are just, you know, the regular parts. They just so happen to be meshes, which can be edited. Um, file is a uh, custom mesh ID. So you upload a model and it will be whatever it is, texture ID. This is a flattened version of the Roblox head. So that's why they kind of have that cylindrical look to them. But yeah, this is, this is a really good tool, you know, just. It doesn't really take that long to get the hang of this. It, it really just has very basic stuff, um, but it will really help you when it comes to building your game. So, you know, I could add, since they're all connected, it's not all connected, but, you know, all put in, I could put fire in it. I could change the color of all the fire. Um, so it just... What it essentially does is it takes all of the properties that you would originally have to use uh, under the properties tab, and it just makes it so you can use it in a much more efficient way. So it's all kind of together in one spot. So for example, instead of having to, if you want to add a spotlight, right, you, you don't have to like go all the way to the part thing and then type a point light. No, no, no. It's, it's just already there. It's one of the options and it's one thing you can do. So it's a really good tool for building. And the other thing I didn't do is change the reflectance. It doesn't work on plastic, but I can make its transparency one. It's invisible 0.5. I could change its texture. So you, you see the gist of what I'm saying. It's a very useful tool, I think. And there's a reason why it's popular. So like the video if you like, dislike if you dislike, please subscribe if you're into this kind of content, and I'll see you guys later. Have a nice rest of your day.